I am from India. I am working in Qatar Fertilizers. Uh, actually, I was living here from three years. After coming here, I was I know about I was little bit know about Islam. Before that, I don't know anything. So from the colleagues, I learned this is the Islam like this religion. So I read the full Quran. Uh, I came to know that Allah sent messengers only males, but not send any females like this. Only the messengers are the males. But I think the Hindus, what we are following, maybe Ram, Krishna, all are messengers. And what about the goddesses, Durga, Parvati, what are all these things? So we are going in the wrong way, or we have to revert back. If we are revert back, uh, why we are giving so many donations to the temples? Why these temples are there? What is the existence? <clears throat> Brother asked a question that in Islam, he came to Qatar, learned about Islam. And he knows there are many messengers in Islam, but there aren't any female messengers. But Hinduism, there are goddesses. Point number one, as I told you, in Hinduism, there's only one God. God. There are no goddesses. In Islam, in Islam, the word Allah has got no gender. Neither male, neither female. Allah is uncomparable. But because in Arabic language, by default, we say kul hu Allah hu ad. Say he is Allah. Because in Arabic grammar, when we use, there are two types of gender, male and female. For female, there are certain rules and regulations. If it's feminine by nature, like mother, ummun, or the sister, uktun, it becomes female. Number two, if it ends with ta, like the watch, saatun, it becomes female. There are rules and regulation. Or if it's in pairs, ainun, eyes, yadun, hands, it becomes feminine. All these do not match. So by default, we say huwa. Otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got no gender. In <coughs> Hinduism, there is God and goddesses. That is the reason God is not the appropriate word. Because you can play mischief with the, Arab, with the English word God. We prefer calling him Allah. Why? You cannot play mischief with the Arabic word Allah, Allah you can do with the English word God. If you add S to God, it becomes God's plural of God. There is no plural of Allah. Kul wallah wad. If you add D-E-S-S to God, it becomes goddess, meaning a female God. There is no male Allah or female Allah in Islam. If you add father to God, it becomes Godfather. There is nothing like Allah, Father, Allah mean Islam. That is the reason we prefer calling Allah by the Arabic word Allah instead of the English word God. Do you understand? Yeah. In Hinduism, you have God, goddesses. Yeah. That's the reason it is not, we don't agree with it. Regarding messengers, there's a difference between God and difference between messengers. Yes. Don't merge both. Yeah, I know. Huh, you're yeah, merging here, then, then crack. So, first of all, in God, the Arabic word Allah is pure. All the other words, can get manipulated. In terms of messengers, in Islam we believe that Almighty God <coughs> has only chosen men to be messengers. That does not mean females are inferior. There are mentions of four great females in the Quran and the Hadith. Talks about Maryam alayhi salam, Mother Mary, the Quran says in Surah Imran chapter number 3 verse number 43. Maryamu, and behold the angel said, Oh Mary, in Allah Stafaki, Wataharaki Vasaki in Allah Alameen, that Allah has chosen thee and purified thee, and purified thee above the women of all nations. That means Allah has purified her. It talks about the other great women. For example, Bibi Khatija. May Allah be pleased with her, who was the wife of the Prophet. It talks about Asya in Surah Tairim, chapter number 66. Tarim was the wife of Moses. No, sorry, was the wife of uh, Pharaoh. So the Quran talks about great ladies. But why did Allah not choose women to be messengers? There are many reasons. To say they were not pure, I've given you examples. Yes? 25 men are mentioned, even four women are mentioned. Correct? Now, why? Because the responsibility of messengers is very high. For the women, Allah has upgraded her because she bears children. Now, if you have to bear children, then give the responsibility of taking care of the leader of the house difficult, taking care as the head of state difficult. So Allah didn't want to 
put on them additional burden. If you are the messenger, you have to lead the salah also. You have to lead the prayer. How can a woman lead the prayer? In Islam, a woman cannot lead a congregation of men. So because of various these reasons, Almighty God in His divine wisdom did not choose women to be messengers of Allah. He didn't want to overburden them. He gave them some facility. That's the reason he has kept only men as messengers. Hope that answers the question. Uh, if I'm having any doubts, so I, how can I get the correct answers? Can you give me any mail, uh, email so that I can mail to that? that if question? anything with comparative religion, you can write to me at islam at irf.net. Islam at irf.net. Or you can go to Islam Q&A. Islam Q&A is a good site which gives replies. Anything with comparative religion because we receive more than a thousand emails a day. And believe me, it becomes difficult. We have more than 500 staff working full time, yet we cannot reply to all the emails. Okay. If it's comparative religion, that's a speciality you can write to us. If it's general question, you can write to Islam Q&A. That's a very good website. Okay.